Hello everyone, this is Rex from Patronovic Gaming, back again with our XCOM Enemy Within playthrough. I hope you guys are really enjoying the series as much as I am. I'm having a lot of fun here. And we're doing rather well. We are doing rather well. So we're hoping to get the council report in this video. Commander, our so we got some more satellites. Let's interrogate this flow to... Orders. So, how'd it go, Doctor? Better than expected. Before the creature expired, I was able to extract some new information from it. You're saying that thing spoke to you? Not precisely. But when you have access to a creature's brain, certain patterns can be discerned. Recent images and thoughts. And what exactly was our late friend thinking about? This particular image appeared in the creature's thought patterns several times throughout the procedure. We've already met that thing, Doctor. This is hardly the kind of breakthrough we were- And there was a neural link in the creature's mind between this image and this one. That's the thing that pulled a disappearing act when we shot down our first UFO. And let me guess, you want to poke around in its head too. It is the next piece of the puzzle. And this time, instead of shooting it, I suggest we try to capture it alive. All right, so let's capture it alive. And we're in some armor research technology. Oh, I really want that plasma rifle. Hmm. Let's do some care of his armor. We should be focused on capturing this strange alien creature, the one that seemed to. F I know, Doctor. All right, let's assign In times of war, there's always a leader, a general, someone giving the orders. These aliens can be no different. But the real question is, what sort of power or authority does it take to control such a vast range of alien species? What incentive do they have to follow through with this plan? Dr. Volan's interrogation technique certainly is efficient. You'd never know it by looking at her. That woman is an alien's worst nightmare. So we need some money here. So we only had six dollars, so we couldn't have really built um the satellite uplink, but now we are. Now we can start construction on that. So that way next month we should be able to do that. And after Carapace Armor, we're going to launch the satellites. Two, one, Carapace Armor. Alright. We need a second UFO flight compl computer. I really just want to skip those and go to plasma. Something I feel like... Oh yeah, launch satellites. So let's launch our satellites here. We're going to put them in Argentina. Satellite launched. And Brazil. Satellite launched. So there are no satellites. And then we're going to put one in Canada. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink How many satellites do we have left? We need three. Okay, so we have three available capacity. for the next month, and Additional we're probably going to go required. one, two, three. And then when we get the fourth one, we'll go one, two, three, four. All right. So we should get a decent chunk of change from this next month. And let's see. Additional workshop online. Incoming right. transmission. Excellent work, Commander. This council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile. worthwhile. All right. We hope that your current successes only mark the beginning of an enduring effort to eliminate the extraterrestrial threat. We will be in touch, Commander. So now we have interceptors that are going to be over South America. As they get a little upset when um, we cannot shoot down UFOs that are there. Ooh, do we not have... The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Do we not have... Commander, at this point, a foundry would certainly help us further hone the effectiveness of these new weapons and equipment. I'd recommend we get started on construction sooner rather than later. Alright, so let's go equip some new weapons here. 
When selecting a specific jet within the hangar, you can choose to modify its current weapon loadout to best serve our needs. The Phoenix Cannon is a good one. Uh, we now have the We Have Wave. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. So these are instant now because of the, um, because of the South American bonus. We've made a number of interesting discoveries based on the autopsy results of the alien specimen you brought back. The research team is now referring to this particular variation as a sectoid, based on the unusual structure of its internal organs, which we believe to be the product of genetic manipulation. As we've seen in the field, this species also seems to harbor some sort of telepathic ability. All right, so we get the uplink tar targeting aim. So we'll do the floater autopsy here. Also, I'm sure you can make the connection yourself. We've designated this particular specimen as a floater. The research team is continuing in its efforts to determine how the aliens prevented the organic tissue from rejecting the mechanical components, as they seem to work in perfect harmony with one another. So now we have the defense matrix to dodge. Um, then we'll go to the thin man autopsy. The tall one has, up until this point, been unofficially referred to as the Thin Man. Initial testing has revealed a concerted effort by the aliens to modify this specimen's genetic structure in such a way as to make it appear human. However, on closer inspection, they seem to have had some trouble concealing the eyes, which appear to be reptilian in nature. So now we can do the gas grenade or the muscle fiber density at the gene lab. Ah, uh, the chrysalid autopsy. Based on what we've seen in the field so far, including several grotesque examples of trauma resulting from the emergence of its young, we've taken to calling this specimen a chrysalid. Alright. So we got some good things there. That was, um... I'll explain those when we get around to them. Despite its physical appearance, this machine doesn't seem to be made up of any organic components. Its surface has an unusual metallic composition that somehow interacts with the vapors it releases for concealment. And from this, we have the respirator implant, which um allow which allows our soldiers not to get uh, poisoned and gives us some more hit points. Ghost grenade. Um, this will disrupt our opponents, and my medic skin will make it so they can't really be seen. We're going to do the skeleton suit here. We started off with the plasma for a little bit, but it'll be... It's a little too big to do right now. I want to build a foundry here. The foundry will be super useful. We'll build another power generator because we need one. And then hopefully we'll be able to come down here and uh, use that steam pretty soon. So let's see where we go from here. Alright, so now we got to equip one of the ones in South America with the Phoenix Cannon. So it should be ready pretty soon. I want to get the dodge matrix. I'm gonna get at least two of those at all times, just to allow our uh, oh our uh, interceptors a little more survivability. We got six dollars back from the workshop. All right, so let's go back and build some more facilities. So now we have another power generator. Let's build an access lift. We could launch four more satellites at the end of this month as well, if we get the satellite uplink up. Which we can build. So we're going to do that. We're going to launch seven satellites at the end of the month, hopefully. The satellite is $57, so we need a little more money from somewhere. And I know, just the somewhere. Ooh, okay, so we used our corpses here. Ooh. I don't really want to sell floater corpses. Because they're very useful. I'll sell some thin man corpses and some sectoids. 
give us just a little bit of money so we can afford all of these satellites. And that way we will only have four countries that do not have a satellite at the end of the month. $228. Works for me. So we should be able to launch seven satellites at the end of the month, and we should have access to some good power here as well. So let's see where we go from here. And the skeleton suit. It's available for manufacture. That's always good. Now we just have beam weapons or plasma. And I want to go with plasma. We need more UFO flight computers here. And the foundry is nice and finished. Alright, let's go visit the foundry here. Is there anything we can afford? First time in the foundry? It's not the prettiest, but some of our more interesting projects will certainly benefit from the adjustments made down here. Really like tactical rigging, but we have no way to afford it right now. So should I Okay, abductions. Commander, we've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. So we're going to cover Europe, Africa. So at the end of the month, we're going to launch seven satellites. We're going to go one, two, three. So that covers all of Africa, which will reduce all that panic. All of the United States, which are all of North America, which will cover that panic. And all of Europe, which will cover that panic. So the only one we'd have left is... <sighs> yeah. So I think we kind of have to go to Japan. And Jap oh yeah, and Japan's giving us four engineers. So those 200 credits do sound nice. I think we need the two engineers right now. And it's actually the easiest mission. <laughs> so we're gonna go to Japan. All right. We gotta bring our best team. And I do believe we have some good people ready. We have our snapshotting sniper. We have Chang, who's been pretty good. And then we have our squad sighting sniper, I believe. I believe this is our squad sighting. Yep, this is our squad sighting sniper. Um. Hey, no one's wounded anymore. Pretty good support here. We're going to make items available. Your aim is 67. 3467. Or. 3280. You're not on the mission. You've been kicked off the mission. Um, you're going to be given a med kit. I do think I want an assault on the mission because assaults always come in handy. Let's see, we have. So we have squaddies, and then you are. Corporal. So we're gonna give you the arc thrower. If you come with an opportunity, use it. So let's get into the mission! So we're going to have some countries that are going to go into a bit of a panic for a little bit. But at the end of the month, we're going to launch seven satellites. Which will reduce the panic. We'll be heading into Japan for the next mission. We're still picking up transmissions indicating alien movement in one of their major city centers. We should get down there and secure the area ASAP. Alright, just remember my favorite words, that collateral damage is not a concern. So neutralize, oh, this is Operation Secret Skull. You're my snapshotting sniper. This is Big Sky. Strike team has reached the AO. Requesting authorization to deploy. Solid copy, Squad Big Sky. Sites. Strike one is cleared to engage. Is there cover right there? There is. 
That's affirmative. You're gonna climb up here because elevation bonus is huge. Especially if you're a squad setting sniper. Oh, you have sprinter. Nice. I did give you a med kit, right? Yeah. <laughs> if I didn't give you a med kit, that would be a little unfortunate. Because med kits are super useful. I want you to go over this way. We're going to make sure there's nothing around. And Zhang is our squad leader. If he has the... He has a really high will. We'll have to get... um. Going there now. Oh, I forget what the I forget what it's called. We'll have to get the thing where um anyone who has a lower will than the squad leader can substitute his will for theirs. His or her, I should say. And my squad sighting sniper will move into position next turn. No squad sight means if there's a direct line of fire, the sniper has infinite range. On the move. Visual on the good. Oh, we have to run. We can't actually grab that. Wait, can we? Let's see, if I ran with you this turn, and then ran and gunned with you that turn. We're not getting that meld. You'd have to straight up sprint for that meld right there. I'm gonna move up the squad sighting sniper. I'm on the move. Alright, she doesn't see anyone right now, and I don't want to trigger anyone yet. So we're not going to move very far. Aye, aye. I'm just going to move up a little bit. Make sure there's no one in here. We're going to move Zhang up. On the move. Because I don't want to trigger anyone until my squad setting sniper can use, um, can use her sniper rifle. Because she cannot snapshot. Alright, I hear some floaters around. I need you to go up and spot for me. Aye, aye, Commander. That's what spotted. we're looking for. Ah, he said that's what we're looking for, and I'm like, the floaters? Alright, and you can see she can only see them through squad sight. But she, um, because that's what that symbol right there means. Is that you can only see them through squad sight. So we got a 75 and a 95. Does up to five damage, and we cannot crit because of squad sight. If you look here, so squad sight is minus all of your uh, crit chance. It's not just minus twenty five percent; it's just minus all. Okay. So now that we can see them, heading to that location. Who can you see? You can see him. Okay. I think I want our squad setting sniper to start this off. 95% chance to hit. I think that's pretty good. Only 3 damage. And they can't see her back because she is so far away. I'm on it, what makes squad sight so good. You can see both of them. 60% chance to hit. Is that the same with your pistol? 40 and 60? Alright. Can you execute him? That you can! Good job, soldier! Oh yeah, she also has an elevation bonus on top of there. I forgot to mention that the higher you are, the um, better your aim is. Position confirmed. Clear to engage. With what we've seen so far, it was only natural to assume the aliens would have something specialized towards frontline combat. This hulking creature appears to be that unit. I don't envy anyone who is to go up against that thing. Well, I didn't really intend to activate these. So I'm going to put you on Overwatch, and same with you. That floater didn't like the, uh, the sniper shot out of nowhere. And Zhang didn't really appreciate him moving. That you are. So they only have light plasma rifles, but the Muton is their, uh... It's like he said, a giant hulking mass. Oh, they can see the squad sighting sniper! Uh-oh. Uh, 
Ah, it was nice while it lasted. It's my first time ever playing with a squad sighting sniper and she died immediately. It is rather unfortunate. Zang, you have a rocket. Can't really fire down there, can you? Should hurt that mutant quite a bit. This should take care of it. That took care of that mutant. It's a shame we lost our squad site. Now we have to get another sniper before we can get I'm another squad there. site. If you could do me a huge favor and hit that shot. Okay. Support. Do you have a grenade? No. No, you don't. Really want to make sure the thing can die, though. We're gonna run and gun this thing down. Moving Killed my squad sighting sniper. Moving to designated coordinates. Uh, really handy tool. Alright, seekers are not a problem. Seekers are never a problem. Look, we don't even see him anymore. 95% chance to hit. Shoot him down. Sudden unfortunate running in. Alright, so he's gonna sit there on overwatch. Ooh, a seeker already appeared. Okay. Seeker has already claimed someone. That's the only one you can see? You can't see that one? Okay. You can kill this floater. There's no more overwatch there. We shouldn't really need cover anymore. Alright, and we're back. Now let's see what we can do. Put you... You're gonna shoot the guy in Overwatch over there. Kill him dead. Okay. Squad sighting sniper may have died. But hopefully we can get another sniper with squad sight eventually. As they are super handy. Overwatching Sniper also works pretty well. Orders confirmed on the move. So the last enemy on the map should just be that seeker. I understand. Moving. I have a visual on the target. Nope, 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 nope. That's a problem. That's a problem. Good thing he's an awful shot. Ooh. As long as the seeker doesn't attack Zhang, we should be okay. This does what? Four damage? Yeah, you all can die. Ready for the fireworks. I'm on the move. We gotta make sure Zhang doesn't get attacked by the seeker because it will injure him. It will critically injure him if he uh, is attacked by the seeker. Copy that. You're gonna bring out your shotgun since we're all nice and close. 
you're actually gonna come a little closer so that we can actually work together on killing this seeker. And there it is, right where we thought it would be. Oh, please. Don't lose someone over this. Oh, Zang. We lost our highest ranking officer. And we lost the meld. I mean, there were things that could have gone a lot worse with that mission, but... Wasn't a great mission, but it's not super awful. Definitely hurts. I mean, it was a difficult mission. No one was expecting this. No. They were some of our best. I wish there was more we could have done. I do as well. Remember, we will be watching. Anakin, Russia, and there. Let's go to the research team, and we'll do the muton autopsy. This is the most physically aggressive specimen we've discovered so far, which the troops fondly refer to as the muton. I can only assume there's a colorful backstory for such a designation. Ammo conservation is something I definitely want. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad right. to I'm going to end this episode down. here. I think this is going pretty well, despite some casualties that we have suffered. We're still doing pretty good. We got a lot of we got a lot of non uh, rookie officers in the um Rookies will do later, so our sergeants may be the highest. So we had lost our Lieutenant Zhang, but it will be okay. Um, I believe... Are you just a squaddy? Yep, so we can have another squad setting sniper whenever she levels up to the next level. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. And until next time, this has been Rex, signing off. Later, guys.